to start. So this is a product that we announced October 30th. It won't actually start shipping until the beginning of next year. Um, and we don't have specific dates yet. We'll follow up over the course of time. This is actually an inkjet printer. So this product is uh, our first page-wide array product. So rather than have a head, you're, I'm sure you're all familiar with inkjet products where there's a print head and the head's moving back and forth, back and forth. This is the print head in this device. And this print head is a full, a little over eight and a half inches wide. And you can see all the components, all these little chiclets, we call them, stitched together. So these are the print heads. Each one of these heads has four rows of nozzles. There are 40,000 nozzles in this row, of this array. So this is what we call a page wide array. The only thing that moves in this printer is the paper. This print head is fixed and static inside this device. What that allows us to do is to move paper at a very high rate of speed. And one problem we face with these scanning technologies, if you've ever seen one print really fast, you'll notice the, the table or the machine almost starts to shake. There's so much mass that we're having to move around. So we needed to overcome that problem in order to advance and drive speeds higher on this device. So let me give you a, just a quick sample. And I'll print in what we call normal mode or professional mode. So this printer will run at 40, 40 pages per minute in professional. So this is the out of the box. You don't do anything, you just print. This is how fast it'll run. And there's a, this has got old firmware in it, it's a prototype. So this is the speed you'll get right out of the box with this printer. And I'll show you the print quality here in a second. There's another mode in this device we call general office mode. This will allow this printer to run at 70, 70 pages per minute. And this mode we think a lot of people will use. So this is, I can say, I can say 70 until you see 70, most people have difficulty understanding what it is. So this is general office mode, I'll actually speak these up. So that's general office mode, 70 pages a minute. Kind of looks okay, go ahead and pass some down. But frankly, most people will tell us, I'll take that general office mode and, and let it fly um, in the office. This is the high quality, that's the high quality one. I might have missed it for lazy. What was the, the print speed on? Yeah, 31. <laughs> Sub 1000, I assume. Sub 1000 would be certainly a cheap oh. here. Office Jet Pro X. Office Jet Pro X series. Correct. Sub 1000 for them, the, all of these will be under $1,000. And this has Wi Fi built in. This has Wi Fi built in, both wired and Wi Fi built in. The ability to hook this to a network wired and then the ability to do, you know, ad hoc Wi-Fi so I can print for my cell phone or use AirPrint or something. I can do both simultaneously with this device. So this class of product, we focus on our enterprise class customers. Okay. This class of product, we're focusing on small, small and medium businesses. Now, enterprise customers will buy this product as well. Um, but this is really meant for somebody to walk up, do something quickly and simply. You won't see as many of those applications, for example, or workflow applications on this class of product yet. Over the course of time, you can imagine us taking brains from this and putting it in a device like this. So we'll start to mix and match engines and brains and, and build other devices here as we go forward. But we tend to focus this future smart technology on enterprise customers and this class of professional, so I said it was an Office Jet Pro, we, the professional series products we target at small and medium. <laughs> so there are two things I want you to remember with this. It's twice as fast as laser printers in its class and it has half the cost per page printing in color as color laser printers in its class. What about black and white? It'll, black and white's a little bit less black and white here versus black and white on a color laser. What's the shelf length on this? As long as you want it to be. And the way this, so this, remember, this is the print bar. This, okay, is, yeah. this stays in the device. This never changes, never moves. It's here for the life of the product. And we cap these print heads and we clean these print heads as we need to. So this ink actually goes into the device like this. So when I'm sliding it in, it's actually connecting here. So the print heads then would require somebody to come out and do service on them at some point? Never. Never. They're there for the life of the product. How do we pre prevent it from smearing? Yeah. The ink dries very fast. This is also pigment-based inks. So I will, you know, everyone says, gee, this is going to get wet. I'm going to carry it outside. It's going to smear and run all over my hands. Here you go. Water. Just water out of a bottle. Nothing fancy. I poured it on this page. 
have white hair. <laughs> Stays on the paper. Okay. I've done that. I did it the first time. I, the first time I did that, I did. <laughs> you got to be willing to take some risks for your job sometimes. You know, kind of, now my hair might grow back, but I've been doing that around the world. I've never had one. Even in Singapore, where the humidity is way off the chart, you don't have a problem with humidity. So this ink has to be permanent. It has to behave like you see with our laser products. I can run a highlighter over it. Archivability over 100 years. All those kind of things work with these inks and these pigments. So part of the reason we, the way we get this to work is we're using pigment inks. They dry very fast. The pigments stay on the top of the fiber and the water gets pulled through into the papers. So that's how we keep it from smearing. The other way we keep it from smearing is the, the way we handle the tractors inside or the, the little star wheels inside the device. While I'm turning this around, I want to show you something that we designed in. Most people are worried about how do I pick these up. So you can pick this one up like this. Again, something when we talk to customers, we say, how do you want to pick things up? And they say, well, I'd love to pick it up like this, but I know I'm going to break it. So we said, no, we'll make it so you won't break it. So this is the paper path. So the printhead, you can kind of see it if you look closely back here underneath, you'll see part of the printhead. So the paper comes out here, comes up these star wheels, and then comes out on top of the paper tray right here. Duplex is standard in the product. So the ability to scan on both sides, the ability to print on both sides of the page is standard in all of these devices. And the duplex module is actually right here. So the page will come up, be held in the device, and then this will reroute it back down through and back. So. This is the whole print zone. There's a paper jam, that's it.